This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2.5 for Unreal Tournament 2004. In this video, we will cover lifts. In the first video, I just made one room, which is this brush here. Let me select it for you, which is that brush here. And so for this tutorial, I basically duplicated it and made a second one up here. So you can see it's like two floors. And I still have the player start here on the ground floor, but I've moved the rocket launcher up to the second floor. So if the player wants to get the rocket launcher, they will need to get a lift over here. Now it's a slightly different from UT99, but it's super easy. So let me show that to you. First, you go to your static mesh browser, which is this icon over here. Then you go file, and open a package. And since we used humanoid architecture in my previous video, we're gonna stick with humanoid hardware. Click open. And you will see that there are different subcategories. So beams, ceiling, light fixtures, and so on. Go to miscellaneous. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of cool meshes. Let's take this one, which is a, as you can see, it's a grate. And one quick note, how you navigate here is the same way you navigate in the editor. So you hold down your left mouse button to, to move around, and then you hold down both the left and the right mouse button to move up and down. So let's just take this piece. This piece is going to be our lift. So while this is selected, you can minimize that. And then all you need to do is come over here to the left-hand side where it says Add Mover. And all you need to do is click on it. And there it is. And notice that the mover is actually put where you had put the red brush. So keep that in mind as well. So while it's selected, let's move this into position. What you want to do is you want to move this mover to the starting position. So that's going to be on the first floor. So first we've got to move this right to the wall, like so. And then you want to move it down so that it's flush to the floor. So I'm holding down the control key and the left mouse button. So there, now you can see in this view that it's right on the floor and it's right to the edge of the wall and you can actually see it here as well. So this is key zero. That means this is the starting position for your mover. Now what you wanna do is you wanna right click on it and go to key one and move this thing up. It's going to be right up to there. So this is key one. This is the open position. And then you right click again and move it back to zero. And that's all you need to do. So I'm just going to add a few properties to it, uh, but this is already covered in my UT99 video for movers. You right click, you select properties, and you can change, you come into Mover. You can change this. So here it says Return when encroach, which means that if it accidentally hits a player, it's gonna move back up. I would rather ignore, so I choose that. This is how long it takes to move, which is one second. And this is how long it stays open. So let me reduce that to two seconds. And a little bit of a delay. So let's say just 0.5 seconds for a delay, which means that when the player stands on it, there's just going to be a little bit of a delay before it moves up. And then if we open up our sound browser, let's open up a package for the sound. I'm going to use Slaughter. And here you can, you can test them. So if I select Machinery as the subcategory, There, that's the movement sound. So you come over here to mover sounds for the moving. 
and then you come here to the ending sound use that for closing and then the opening sound is there so I've set up the sounds the time for it to move and that's it so as you can see it's a lot easier in UT 2004 now let's play test it so here I am on the first floor and there's the lift and I'm on the second floor there's one more thing I'm going to show you which is the lighting on the mover so let me stand on this again you can see how the lighting has stayed the same that means that it has calculated the lighting once and that'll be the uniform lighting regardless of where you are on the mover but in fact I have a light source up here so you will right click on the mover and under mover you change this to dynamic light equals true now rebuild and play so now you'll see that when I move on this the lighting changes dynamically based on where you are so that's it for lifts you can use the exact same technique for doors so you just need to have a static mesh that's a door instead of a platform like this